What time is it? It's Amsterdam Games time. I'll be quiet for the intro. I did not see that coming. That was so good. Just like in the face, man. <laughs> that was great. Defend the key. What do you guys think about that intro? That was so good. Okay, so as you can probably guess, we're gonna play a brand new game on this channel called Defend the Keep. This is a tower defense game, but it has some really unique things. Like, for example, the enemies don't walk on a set path. They can actually come from anywhere, which uh, is pretty rough at times. So let's just go straight into it. First of all, a big thank you to the developer for giving me a key to this game, and let's just go. Let's just have a good time. Play. Boot camp. The Defense Guild had a problem. The local villages are small and there aren't enough strong fighters to start an army. The Tech Guild was hired to def design ways to defend the villages with as few soldiers as possible. The solution was a tower with an array of destructive capabilities and a well-trained master to control it. The early days of testing and training got a bit messy. So the personal and equipment were moved to this island. A training base was built for the new Keep Masters, the primary defenders of our people. Only the greatest tactician with the technological know-how to control the tower and iron nerves to be the lone defender of their assigned village will ever graduate from this. And only one. Just one. The resources are sparse and the keep master can't expect to get any outside help. You're all alone. All alone. Now it's your turn to finish the training and start death. Bending. Oh yeah. Now we're actually gonna skip the tutorial, but I just wanna show you like this is this looks pretty great. Like you have these training dummies, I'm gonna have training dummies that are gonna move back and forth over here and it's gonna tell you how to do stuff. So essentially you have this big tower and you have some abilities like fireball, lightning, and poison, and you will use you can use all of them, not just one of them. And they're gonna use them to kill the enemies. So really cool. So we're gonna skip this training. You have finished the training with flying colors. You just have to take my word, because I've already done that. <laughs> and we'll just go. And we can pick out of school. We're going to go for normal, because that's what we do here. It's going to be fun. If, if you like this game, you might go on hard, but we'll do like... We'll do normal. This is the world map. Available levels are colored and locked levels are in gray. So we can do we are under attack. We finish the training camp, or so I've said. And we're gonna do, go to We Are Under Attack. And it's a really, it's a really good game. I love the graphics. Like, for a tower defense game, they really took their time on the graphic. It's, it's just great. Beautiful. What happened? What happened? Secret. First assignment. After graduating from the training camp, I've arrived to the westernmost village on the mainland. The village seems to be quite peaceful, enjoying the summer by the sea. Yeah, they just want to have vacation, guys. It's the summertime. There are whispers of travelers and merchants getting attacked east of here, but the village is still untouched. It's a nice thing to say, like, untouched. Like, that doesn't really evoke the fact that there are big people who are coming to kill everyone I have in my village. It's just like, it's just untouched. It's fine. Nothing is going to happen. Yeah, bad times are going to happen. So... As supposed to survive the attack waves remaining 12, the villagers can earn extra gold from wood, try blasting some with fireballs. Yeah, I'm gonna start this off by building a couple of cannons. I'm gonna have one cannon over there to handle this part, and one cannon over here to handle this part down here, like that. And the people on the left are gonna handle Now we're gonna use some fireballs and blast some of these beautiful trees. It's gonna give us money from wood. You can also make markets, but the markets is like recommended for the next mission, not this one, so we're not gonna do it just yet. Now we have multiple options between the towers that we can build. We can have cannons, hammers, markets, walls, and biters. Hulk so close to the town, something must be wrong. Ooh, something's wrong. So we're gonna slow this down and we're gonna start this off. So we have three abilities. First thing is fireball, which is just do regular damage. But we're gonna go with this lightning. Lightning is very cool because lightning. Oh, let's just go now. Lightning stops him from movement, so then you can poison him or fireball him and allow him to like not move further, which is very cool. Finally, launch the next wave by pressing the next wave button or by using the I don't want to do that. I just want to talk. They're like, do it. 
I'm making you do it. No, please don't make me do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. We'll do it in a second. So then we have hammers. Hammers are different kind of towers that are like melee towers. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, 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 okay, we gotta focus here. We gotta focus. Uh, I'm just gonna freeze this guy down when he's in range for both of my cannon towers so they can then destroy him by itself. Hammer is like a melee tower that kind of hits like very close around itself. Then you have market which makes you money. Then you have walls. Walls. Okay. We gotta talk about walls here. I am used to tower defense games where the enemies come from only one direction. So what I always want to do is I just want to make them go in one way. So I want to build a tower, but tower walls. I want to build a wall and make them walk around. So if I build a wall right here, I'm going to have to walk around it, okay? But the problem with walls is walls are very expensive, like crazy. Okay, okay, we're going to have to focus on this guy. Now you can shoot poison on the ground in front of him. So then when he walks through, he's going to die with the poison. So he's dead problem with walls is that they're very expensive they cost 20 so if i want to build like a wall here I need like about 10 walls it's 200 which is the cost of a hammer tower so it's super expensive so it's like we are we cannot build any wall but every time i play this i'm like i have to build a wall i want to build a wall so first time i played this i built walls second times i played this out and i didn't do so well second time i played this i was like i'm not gonna build any wall and i built a wall and like Two minutes i'm like no i wasn't supposed to build a wall third time i played it i managed to not build a wall and i did very well so i'm gonna try to not build walls with you but it's just like it's so tempting you're like just gonna put it in their path and force them to go around but i figured out a different good way to force them to walk around is if you use poison because they don't like to step on poisons like they're pretty smart they're like nah i do not so if i should have hit me a stalk with but if i put a poison here Actually, not this time, okay. But they tend to walk around it. Like, if they see there's poison in front of them, they tr tend to, like, go, like, okay, I'm not gonna go at the poison, I'm gonna walk around, if, if they can, not always. So it can be a good idea to place poison and maybe, like, force them to walk some way, and then they can walk around. Like, if I have a wall here and I place a poison here, well, let me show it. If I place poison here, okay, this one, just, I, when I did it, like, in my test games, they, yeah, see this guy, he, he kind of walked around the poison, but he couldn't walk too much because of the... Of the trees because they have to walk around the trees but um in in my test games they tend to walk around the poison more I, I will show it to you with, with some other enemies next time and they have like a space that's when you should and the last time we have biters biters deal insane amount of damage to a single target so essentially it's an insta kill but they have very limited amount of use so okay so this guy okay if i place poison i don't know here okay that's not good there maybe no they're just like they always walk around on this and they're like no we're gonna walk straight through poison okay. better poison those guys down oh whoa, whoa, we're a bit in trouble okay let me use a fireball on that and we need increased area for my lightning that's very cool because now now i can actually freeze them both so you can see that the area of the lightning is much bigger so that was what was on the left was upgrades i didn't really have time to to show it to you much because i needed to focus on killing them but we'll, we'll see it in, in a future episode some more but essentially you get options between upgrading your uh, any one of your abilities you can upgrade the duration or the range or stuff like that and i what i took was like um area on lightning okay we, I'm gonna build a hammer tower right here because they do tend to come from here a bit. So let's build it like that. Okay. So when it comes close, this is gonna just like hit them. Oh, let's zoom in a bit. We cannot zoom too much because like I need to focus on other enemies. But I'd like to see this. Yeah. Now see, bam, hammer in the face. He's gonna. He's going at my wall. Okay, he's going past my wall. Okay. See, see. So sometimes, sometimes they stop and they hit at the wall, but sometimes they just walk around the wall, and then that's it's not gonna help you much. Okay. That thing is dead. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I need to freeze you, and I'm also gonna put some poison in your way. Yeah, that thing is dead. And you guys, you need a fireball on you, and some poison as well. Destroy that, okay. Uh, could I fireball you? Yes. And let's try to freeze you like that. My hammer does my, my hammer just doesn't have a range on him, which is a little disappointing. Let's, let's shoot poison at this guy. Nice. That guy's dead. I want to make more money to get... Now, because it's night, we actually see less. If you go on hard difficulty, you actually cannot see them at all. Which is pretty rough. Let them get close. Yeah, now we're going to stop them both from moving. Yeah, let's poison this guy like crazy. And use a fireball on these two. Yeah, poison him some more. Yeah, that thing is dead. This guy. Don't, don't hurt my thing. 
Leave, leave my house alone. Come on. Good job. That thing is destroyed as well. I went down pretty well, I think. I don't want to build down with him. I'm going to try to wait for a cannon. These cannons have much better range, but the hammers, they're cool. I, I like the hammers, but like I like the cannons kind of better. The enemies, they're coming there or here. Not many of them, though. Let's, let's use a fireball on this guy. Maybe some poison. We'll, we'll freeze these two. Okay, I want to increase. I want a chain line thing, which allows me to hit multiple enemies. But let's slow this down so we have a bit more time. So we need to put some poison onto that guy. I have much poison left. And on this guy. I have many, many more abilities, so we're going to have to let our cannons handle that. Okay, slow it down. Let's use a, a freezing, freezing on that guy. Fireball on these two, and uh, maybe a poison into this guy. Oh, here you can see like how much poison we have left, and you can use multiple poisons at the same time. Like you can use multiple shots if you have enough uh, poison. Now, this guy is dead. This guy is about to die. Okay, we're doing okay. Doing fine so far. I want another cannon. I just need eight more gold for that. Well, I should actually buy some trees. Do I have any trees? Yeah, like these trees. Give me money. Yeah, let's build a cannon. Uh, let's build a cannon like that. It mostly come from this side. Like, not always, but like mostly. Let's just try to shoot some poison. Oh yeah, we hit him very nicely. Fireball these guys. Some more poison on this guy. Slow it down some... Uh, let's freeze all of you. Because the, the lightning actually not only stops them, but also stuns them. So they will not be able to, you know, destroy my houses. Because at the end of the game, what will they look at you is not how long it took you, but how many buildings they destroyed. Because your job is to defend the village, okay? So the, the soldiers, the, the people in the village, they don't care, like, how long the war takes. All, all they care about is that their beautiful houses are not destroyed. That's what they want. Let me get them close to the hammer. Yeah, like now. And freeze them up. And let's use a fireball. Just like show, hit them. Yeah, poison them all. Go. Okay, this guy. Gonna have to... Let's... Can I like chain line thing you two? Yeah, go. Fireball on you. Give me more longer duration on my lightning. I like the lightning probably the best. The poison is pretty powerful too. It doesn't seem like it. Like when you start the game, it seems like, eh, poison. Why would I want to bother with poison when I can have fireballs? And no, actually the poison is really, really strong. Uh, I very much like it. I think, okay, we have a lot of more. Okay, let's build another cannon tower like right there. Because everybody's coming from this side. Let's wait till they get close to my, yeah, like you, you to go. Shoot some poison up at this guy. See, see, he, he just moved away from the poison. Yeah, told you they can do that. Hit that guy, poison this guy. Okay, we, we need some a storm up in this area so my towers can destroy the rest of the enemies. Yeah, should be fine. I wonder how well we did. Sometimes it seems like you did really badly or really well in the game and then you look at the result and you're like, oops. Oh yeah, we flew through this one. This is my best result so far, guys. Apparently I play better when I'm with you. You're like my lucky charm. Subscribe for that, please. <laughs> okay, let's go. World map. So we did 96% and you can see that this is like, uh, you get crystals. And this is like, what do you need? Like, this tells you like how many crystals you get, like depending on like which place you get. And this is like how much gold you spend, how much you earn, enemy skill level reach. But the most important thing is the crystals because you can use the crystals for upgrades. Because these ability upgrades on the fireball and lightning, these are like a uh, level specific. So every time I need to upgrade the lightning again. But for with the crystals, you can use to upgrade uh, things that are like forever. And the Fence Guild has granted you crystals for keeping the town safe. Open the upgrade window and buy building upgrades. I like that how, how um, you know, dedicated we are to protecting the village because we get money crystals and we use them to upgrade our, our towers. We don't even upgrade, use them on like, you know, a better house or like some great dinners. We're just like, no, we're going to use it to get better at our job. Now we get a lot of upgrades. So let's read them through that. We get increase the range of the cannon towers. Increase the firing rate of cannon towers. These are really good. Increase damage of the hammers. Increase the attack speed of hammers. Increase the number of times the biters can go off before expiring. Now remember, biters are essentially insta-kills. And they're pretty cheap. So this is not bad. Increases the reach of the biters. Increases the health of all towers. Increases the health of the town's cottages. And this. I love this one. 
increases the size of town by x houses allows you to lose more dwellings and keep a higher score this is like imagine that the soldiers that's me we go into the village and we build extra houses they're like is anyone coming to live here oh no why are you building extra houses now and we're just like smiling mr like you'll see you'll see and they were just like why did you build empty houses like and nobody's coming and then the the, the pigs come and they they kill they destroy the houses, you know, and, and the, the villagers were, were kind of hidden safely, okay? And the villagers are like, man, they destroyed my house. And we're like, don't worry, I just built you a new one. And they're like, oh, that's why you did that. And then they'll get like super happy and they're calling their spin like, hey, let the pigs destroy your house and get a beautiful new one. So I'm actually going to do this one. And I'll read the rest for you first. Add spikes to the defensive walls. Higher ranks increase the damage dealt only by enemies every second. Now, I did not manage to make, make the walls work, at least not in the test place. We might try to do some some uh, some level with the walls, but walls are hard to make them work, guys. Because since they can come from every direction, it's just rough. Makes the huts explode when they're destroyed. Higher ranks increase the damage dealt to only. This is actually pretty good because they do tend to destroy your houses, so having this can do some damage at least. Which is the maximum gold earned from markets. Also fantastic. I'll start off with increasing houses. And I think we'll just increase the house town size by a lot. It's gonna allow us to have three stars more often. Now let's do one more area. We'll see how well we can do that. We'll do sound of hooves. Let's go. Okay. Now the 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 tour is gonna be nice enough to tell you, hey man, build some markets. I'll do it before he tells me to. I'm actually going to build oh are you telling me? Are you telling me now? Yes, you're telling me now. Markets yield gold periodically. You can buy them from the store. Buy them early to make the most out of them. Now the money they make is slowly increased, like um like first time they make 10, once this timer goes off, then they make 20. I'm gonna build two markets straight up from the get-go. So I have to deal with the monsters at the start all by myself, all alone. But I think the extra money from the markets should be worth it. If not, we're gonna hope hopelessly die. And the people in our village will get their houses destroyed and they will cry in a corner. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what, that's fine. Okay, so we get 10 over there. Is any enemy coming? Now, you do not want to send the uh, uh, waves early because it, it doesn't like count towards the market. The market has their own timer, so you would kind of lose time. So you don't want to lose time. You want to have time. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna freeze you off here and then poison you down. I'm gonna use most of my poison on him. Yeah, he's just dead. Bye bye. You are dead. One down. Many more to go. We have eleven waves. Again, you could speed this up, but if you have markets, it's not effective. And uh, so first they start by making 10, but the next time the timer goes off, they will make 11. I don't, these guys didn't make any money. So it's, oh, actually they did. I guess, okay, fine. It's going to be 12 now. So it slowly increases, okay, like over time. Let's let's throw some poison at him some more. Probably don't need that much poison. Yeah, he dies off all by himself. Three or four shots of poison should be enough. I tend to shoot a bit much, but then I'm running out of poison. And actually I want to have a lot of poison in the backlog. This is how much you have. Just lovely games. Now we can build a hammer tower, but I'm gonna wait to build a cannon tower. We could also use fireballs to destroy these trees, which again makes us a little extra money. But it does take a while because before you can get more fireballs. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna freeze this guy down once he comes a bit closer. Like, how about now? And again, I'll shoot some poison at him. Should be enough. Yeah, he's dead. He is just dead. Good time. Let's see how much the markets. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. stop it! Oh, that, that I was not ready for this. I was gonna chit chat with you about the markets, and it was like it just sneaked in. You gotta be very kind of aware in this game. Okay, let's build a cannon. I build one over there to like protect that part. I'm gonna focus on the thing that are like here next to me, and that cannon tower should like handle the other side. Whether they can actually handle the other side, I don't know, but we'll let them try. All right, let me uh, freeze you up and use my poison as usual be enough right yeah just plain dead all right how much mar are the markets gonna make now come on show me show me show me show me last time i was off see now it's 14 so it's increasing slowly increasing over time now at this time it's actually whoa, whoa 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 okay okay we got moose we got a new enemy let me uh slow it down is this one gonna come from whoa whoa whoa, whoa. okay first the hawks go crazy now the moose yeah okay slow it down okay okay 
They're gonna freeze the moose. The moose is super fast, so it's pretty, pretty difficult to destroy. Okay, uh, throw some poison at this guy, like a lot of poison. And we're going to shoot a fireball at the moose. And some poison at this guy. Oh, did we not hit him? Okay, this guy should die, like, very soon. See, this guy's gonna avoid the poison, which is not the greatest. It kills, shoot some poison at the moose. Let's go to regular time. I really want to shoot, like, uh, freeze these guys down. Let's throw a fireball at this one and some poison. And I would like to freeze you both down. Can I, do I can only freeze one of you, so I'll freeze him. Shoot some extra poison on him. It, the second one hit it. Now, the, the storm is in an area, so if someone walks into that area, they will still, you know, like, get frozen. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's thumb this guy down. Okay, we're fine. We handle it. Now, we should soon get enough money for another cannon tower, which I really like. I don't know if I want to build the second cannon, cannon tower here to help me out or there to make sure that the stuff over there will get handled. Probably build it, like, maybe here. Have, like, this area covered. And I'll handle this part all by myself. Oh, they've got a lot of enemies over there. Like, lots of them. Let's freeze this guy down. Poison him a bit. Do some fireball on this one. And some poison. Okay, that's, that's it. Okay, uh, slow down. We want to have an increased area on the lightning. That seems to be the best thing I've found so far. Okay, uh, you. Fireball you. Throw, throw some poison at you. This again. Yeah, let's build a second cannon over there to help out. And we'll deal with this. Okay, we've got a moose. No, 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 no. Okay, we're, we're fine. I don't need to stress about it. If 10 extra houses, okay? So even if they destroy the houses, we're like, no stress from me. Okay, uh, we need to f uh, freeze you guys up. We should have waited till they got closer so they would get hit by the... Actually, the cannon towers were able to hit them somewhat. Let's throw some poison over there. But I gotta watch out for the thing down here. It's like, that's the problem. Yeah, those cannon towers should handle that. Let's throw a fireball over there. You don't have to worry about fireballs destroying your own uh, houses. That's fine. We don't have friendly fire here. Which is actually pretty cool, because otherwise throwing fireballs at your village would be pretty rough. Uh, I do like the hammer towers, but I don't know. Let's maybe, you know, let's build one hammer tower over here. So it's like, yeah, we're gonna freeze this guy there. And uh, it's gonna, like, help me protect this thing on this side. Any poison anywhere? I could poison this guy, but it's not necessary. Yeah, let's, let's poison them a bit and this guy a bit. And maybe freeze him in there. Oh, wow, you. I need to fireball you. Yeah, that guy's dead. Can I poison you down? Freeze you up. Uh, fireball you, poison you a little bit. Where are you going? He's walking very weirdly around. Yeah, go towards my cannon so I can destroy you. Yeah, he's dead. He's just dead. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. pause, pause, pause. Well, not pause, but like slow it down. I want to poison the moose if I can. And maybe this guy as well. Okay, we need to uh, increase the chain lightning. That's actually pretty cool because what chain lightning does is that when you... When you hit one, one enemy, you can hit multiple. So let's go, let's go with that. I'll try to freeze anything that gets too close. Yeah, the hammer is destroying that. Let's use a fireball on you. And poison on this guy. Okay, I need another cannon right there. And a fireball on these guys again. Good job, good job we did that. That, that was really good. I don't want to go fast. Go normal. Oh, some enemies over here. I think we might let them come a bit closer. I wish I could hit like multiple. Yeah, let's hit these two. Whoa, okay. We'll hit these three then. Fireball on you. Some poison on this guy. Yeah, he's gonna die straight up with the poison. A little bit of there. Some poison over here towards my hammer. Okay, let's freeze all of you up, stun you down, fireball you up. I could use a hammer. Do we want a hammer? If two ways remaining now, we're gonna go for a cannon. We're gonna go for a cannon here. Yeah, free freeze you guys. Freeze the moose. The moose needs to be frozen. Okay, cannon go. I don't know where I built that cannon, but I built it somewhere. Did I build a cannon? 
Who's over there, I guess? I feel like the cannon ran away, but you know what? It's gonna be fine. So we'll slow it down a bit, do some more. Ooh, we can get a longer duration on my storms. Always good. We could build a biter now. Yeah, let's let me show you. We'll build a biter. And it's just gonna close up and just straight up kill the thing. So you're paying 100 for an insta kill, which is not the worst deal, to be honest. Let's just go normal speed now. Okay, one more wave. I wonder how badly or well we're doing on this one, because I'm not quite sure. Once they get close enough to the hammer, which should be now, let me freeze you up and fireball you down. Yeah, I'll show you as the boss. I'm the boss. Is some more enemies coming here. Again, we'll try to freeze it up. No, we'll freeze this guy down. Use a fireball. Use some poison over here. And some poison over there. Fireball this thing. Slow it down. Little poison over here. And we'll stun all of you very nicely. These guys on the left are like rough. They're like, we're gonna destroy all your cannon towers. I'm like, as long as you're not hitting my, my uh, houses, I'm fine. Extra cannon? Probably wasn't necessary that extra cannon I just built, but you know what? If you have the money, use them. There's no point in saving up. Like, if you have the money in this game, okay? It's like very bad life advice. Don't save up money, spend everything you want all the time. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Okay, that, that's not a good deal. That's not a good deal. Uh, slow it down. Slow down the time for me, because I'm the time master. I'm gonna build up a hammer over here. Just because I can, yeah, slam the guy in the face. Show them who's the boss. Oh yeah, we'll go. We'll freeze you guys up. Poison these guys, these dudes over here. Fireball, yeah, give me extra damage on my fireball, yeah. We build a biter, but I don't need to. How many houses did we lose? I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty good. We got two out of three. I'm okay with that. That was a pretty good result. I thought it would be worse. So what can other upgrades we could do? We could get more... Oh no, we can't get more of these. We could get more money from markets, but I think we might want to go at like maybe increased firing rate of cannon towers. We essentially, I mean like for every 10 shots we'll now get 11 shots. Or extra held on town cottages. Could be, let's try extra held on town cottages and extra firing rate. That could be good. And I think we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll click on the right top towards the next one. Or click on the right bottom to watch Marsh Tactical Base Defense. Which is also a tower defense game. I'll see you there. Bye bye.